This channel is for educational purposes only. We show you the how-tos. This should not be constituted as financial advice. Please contact a professional in that area to let you know what you should do with your money. Back when I got started in uh, mining cryptocurrencies, it was a lot easier to earn some passive income with just a GPU and a dream, really. Um, could make a beginner could make you know, maybe a hundred, two hundred dollars on a very inexpensive video card, and you were mining Bitcoin or Ethereum at that time. Ethereum was still proof of work, and we're going to get into a lot of these terminologies pretty soon in this video. But what's happened now is that the complexity of these algorithms that are running these uh, cryptocurrency networks are diverse as some of the coins are in addition to that the complexity of mining a cryptocurrency has gotten way way harder which is why with a proof of work system like bitcoin you have to pay so much for those crypto miners they're thousands of dollars and you may never see your reward but when it comes to the canon nano 3 Avalon Nano Miner. It runs one algorithm for one coin. And we're going to break down what algorithm that is and which coins it runs. It's important to know these things before you decide to plunk down some money on a cryptocurrency thinking you're going to be mining Bitcoin. And it turns out you got the wrong algorithm or wrong machine for the task. Let's talk about it. Now, think of an algorithm as the set of rules that the cryptocurrency ASIC machine or whatever miner you're using is using or utilizing to find and secure the blocks that secure the network that you're running, whether it's a Bitcoin network or um, a Doge or a Litecoin, for instance. Each one of these coins may have a different algorithm. So, for instance, when we're talking about Bitcoin, the algorithm it uses is SHA-256. Litecoin uses something called Script. Now, there is a Litecoin Cash. It also uses the SHA-256. But there are tons of other uh, algorithms out there for each one of the coins. Some of the more profitable ones currently, like uh, the Casper coin, that runs on an algorithm, algorithm called the K-heavy hash. And uh, it's its own thing. And many of the cryptocurrencies coming out these days have their own algorithms. It helps secure the network and it keeps mischief down so that you are securing the network and keeping its ecosystem alive. The way these networks incentivize you for joining these networks and buying these uh, ASIC miners is giving you a portion of the profits you find when you mine a block. This is called a block reward. Now, the block rewards for the SHA-256 algorithm, uh, aka Bitcoin, are ridiculously high. But we're going to talk about those things that you need to factor in before you plunk down that money let's get into just the SHA-256 currencies that uh, allow you to earn the most profit currently for a block reward for a, a Bitcoin is 3.125 Bitcoins that's the block reward what that means is that at current prices should you mine a block and get it verified you're about at $294,000 richer. Now, that said, at the current complexity of these uh, algorithms, I mean, how, how many hashes a, a miner would have to complete to mine a single Bitcoin is years in the making and like seven or eight petahashes. The most you're going to get out of a single rig is about four or 40 or even 100 tera, tera hashes. It's a lot. It's a bunch of computations. And remember, these machines are running 
all the time, all day, and they're using high amounts of electricity. It's just not practical or profitable anymore to mine a Bitcoin unless you are one of those big institutions. This is one of the bigger barriers of keeping greater adaptation of that currency from from making it mainstream. If the network itself costs tens of thousands of dollars for a single machine and you're competing against hundreds, if not thousands of other machines, you will never see um, that Bitcoin. It's basically a glorified lottery ticket. Those rewards are for the strong, the financially strong. And it's just one of the things that why it was easier when it came out, when cryptocurrency first hit the scene to mine these things because you had so many proof of work networks out there. You were still able to mine Ethereum, which all of itself did not give you a lot of block reward points, but you were getting a share of, of maintaining that network. And um, I myself, when mining Ethereum, uh, we made, depending on the week, at one point in time, it was like $120 a week. That is, and that's without a block reward. This is just a mining payment for just helping on that network, helping to secure that network. But that's Bitcoin, and that's SHA-256. The next profitable coin on that list of SHA-256 cryptocurrencies is the Bitcoin Cash. Bitcoin Cash currently has a block reward of $1,500. Now, that might not seem like a whole lot, but when you factor in the much less complex uh competition you're going to be facing um, and you're using something like a Canon Avalon Nano 3 um, again 40 to 100 tera hashes to to mine a coin and you're, you're you're basically doing like oh I don't know how many you how many of these coins are mined per day your chances are a bit quite a bit higher uh, for actually recovering a block and, and earning a reward, but you're competing against pools. And um, though the block reward is more obtainable and the machine itself at $150 is not that bad of a deal. So basically, again, you're still talking about a $150 lottery ticket because you're not guaranteed that you're going to hit that block reward. And that might be enough for you, but really your purpose for joining these networks is to support your cryptocurrency ecosystem so that there's an alternative method to cash and carry alternative payment methods than traditional banking faster transaction times these are what cryptocurrencies were, were able to do and do it securely and by adding more of these asic machines to the network you're securing those transactions and that's the whole goal here. Now, yeah, there's an incentive to make sure that you're always going to be profitable. But as things go on and more and more people start to join these uh, networks and these pools, the profit margins are going to go down. And then you have something called the halving. Every about two or four years, those payments are cut in half. Just over... Uh, just over six months ago, the Bitcoin payment was still 6.25 or two. Yeah, 6.25 Bitcoin per. Great. But at that time, Bitcoin was trading in around what? Twenty, twenty thousand dollars a coin. So six times twenty. Well, that's about 120,000, right? Somewhere around there. Even though the Bitcoin amount has been cut in half, the price or the cost of Bitcoin, its value is sitting around $100,000. So at currently $96,000, 3.25 times that is why that block reward is so much higher than it was 
when you were actually earning more Bitcoin. It's a strange thing. And that's the other aspect of, of cryptocurrencies. As the value of these coins rises, so does the amount in dollars once you convert it to uh, raise your funds, raise your, raise your money. It's an interesting predicament. So you got Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, the next SHA-256 uh, cryptocurrency that is still profitable is the Bitcoin SV. Now the Bitcoin SV cryptocurrency currently pays a block reward of about $167. Now that's a big jump. So you're going from $296,000 for Bitcoin, $1,500 or so for Bitcoin Cash, and then Bitcoin SV, your block reward is sitting around $167. Again, the complexity has gone way down. You have less competition. You have more of a chance of getting that block reward with something like the Canon Avalon Miner. And that's great for some people. Again, hobbies for some. If it ever um, pays for itself, it's a good deal. And you're actually contributing to the ecosystem of that of that network. The last currency on the SHA-256 algorithm that is even remotely profitable is eCash. That's the EXEC cryptocurrency. It runs SHA-256. And the block reward is about 110 bucks currently. Don't know much about that coin. But if you are going to buy a Canon, Canon, uh, uh, Avalon Nano 3, these are four coins that it can actually mine because that particular miner only runs the SHA-256 algorithm. Um, put your questions and comments below and let me know if there's some more information you want to know about this. I plan on buying another one. I have a... Uh, cannon downstairs running just sitting in the pool somewhere helping to contribute to the security of these networks it's it's a way to keep yourself in the game and keep yourself in the know um will it ever possibly make some money for me who knows but if it doesn't you know at least i had learned something new and as a possibility of generating some passive income this is one of the best things that I've done. I, I had made a good deal of money. I furnished my entire home with what I was able to do pre-pandemic with cryptocurrency mining Ethereum when you were still able to use Ethereum as a proof of work out um, cryptocurrency before it became proof of stake. Um, and we were able to use our GPUs to mine cryptocurrencies. It's just the progression of time, progression of technology that made those opportunities disappear overnight. Um, just keep that in mind before you plunk down that cash and you buy a miner, make sure you're able to mine the cryptocurrency that you're trying to mine with that device. Again, leave your questions, comments below, and I will talk to you soon.